old show that was very much focused on his branding of the, the circular LED shape that was the cover of his first album. So initially we thought, well, let's develop on that. Nick wanted to move on to a bigger scale of things, but maintain that kind of uh, idea. So originally the, the challenge was how do we maintain the circle, but try to put subfocus in a more prominent position rather than being hidden behind the installation as he was, because what subfocus has been trying to do is develop the show so that it's more of a live performance. There are quite a few challenges when performing music electronically. Often it's people interacting with computers or laptops that doesn't look very interesting to the crowd. I wanted to make my show completely electronic performance, but make it much more interesting visually. So, because again we wanted to put emphasis on this live performance, I thought, well, one way of course is to have him in the center and people seeing that he's playing with stuff and not just pressing play, but the other way was to make the whole show and installation react to his live performances so people get that connection even more. Something that we developed for the show that I'm pretty sure is unique to ours is that the lights of the installation are reactive to the instruments that I'm playing in real time. So for example, the drums that I play during the intro also create these flashes of white light across the circles. We're using this reactivity across several of the different instruments that I play during the show. As far as I know, uh, we're the only people doing this kind of reactivity at the moment. And it effectively means that I'm controlling the sound and the lights at the same time. With Nick's music is very varied. He has a lot of different sort of elements that he wants to try and do. So we have a lot of scope with the content to be able to try different things. So there are some tracks that are very graphical based and other tracks that are more sort of cinematic. And his music gives us the opportunity to look into lots of different ways of making all this stuff happen. We have a system where all of the content will be in place but he has control over each one of these little clusters, they're MIDI controls and are linked to his Ableton project. So anywhere that he wants to go in his Ableton project, this computer will follow him. So like this is a module that controls one of these LED buttons and this will tell it where to be in space and how it functions. Everything that's in this show was custom built. So everything that we built had no rules that we had to follow. We had to make them up as we went along. So we've been refining the process as we go. And uh, every, every show we find something new that we can do to improve it. You know, generally LED screens come in just typical uh, squared panels where also all the LEDs are put into a grid. Uh, to do them in circles, uh, you can't really find products that way. So one of the new things that we did that hadn't really been done before was to put the LEDs in uh, perfect circles within the panels so that you avoid the steps that you would get when trying to make circles out of you know, squared arrays of LEDs. The whole lighting installation wasn't the only thing that we had custom made for the show. We also had a bunch of stuff on the audio side as well. Uh, for example, the software that I use on the iPads, uh, but also these motion sensors, which I use to control sounds during the show by moving my hands around in air above them. These are the type of things that I've wanted to do with live electronic performance for a long time, so it's amazing to finally make them a reality.
So here's a bit of a breakdown about my live setup. I've got the trackpad here. Here are the two iPads. I use this one on the left for sample chopping. So I can take a, a piece of sound and chop it and rearrange it into little bits. On this side, um, I've got a step sequencer, which is basically one bar split up into lots of sections. And I use this for programming new drum beats, things like that. Um, here I've got one of the motion sensors, here I've got the other one. And uh, over here is the keyboard, and here is various controllers to control more in-depth controls on the step sequencer. Uh, but yeah, and this is the main brain of the operation, this is the APC which I use for navigating around the projects and playing different sections of my songs. So I'll give you a little demo here. Just run a beat. Then I'm going to add some snares. Add a hi-hat. Or choose a different hi-hat. Maybe loop a section of vocal. Busying up the beat a little bit. Make a build up. And then start to bring in the rest of the original track. That's pretty cool. I think. That's good.